Hello, this is uh, Frank Calabro Jr. And what I want to do in this uh, slideshow, guys, is I want to I want to share my incredible uh, my incredible journey to diamond level in my advertising pays. Now, real quick, guys, I want to tell you a little bit about my background, and I want to tell you guys how I got into uh, internet marketing in the first place. Now, I come from a military background. Um, I served in the Marines from the time I was 19 years old, actually two days after I turned 19, up until I was 31 years old, guys. So I grew up in the United States Marine Corps. I mean, they say uh, the human brain is not even fully developed until you're about 23 or 24 years old. And, you know, the Marine Corps finished uh, developing my mind, guys. And and you know what? That's a good thing. That's a really actually a really good thing because, you know, while serving in the Marines, I never heard of things like uh, failure. I never heard of that word. I never heard of things like quitting. You know, those ideas, those concepts, they didn't even exist uh, in the military, in the Marines, uh, to be specific. And, you know, I was surrounded by superhuman people, superhuman people. And I became one of those people, guys, okay? And I tell people, you know, the mentality of uh, most Marines, and the Marine Corps is, it, it really is, what it really is, is it's an institution of leadership, okay? An institution of leadership. And, you know, like I said, um, uh, I was surrounded by superhuman people, but I was also, I was surrounded by the strongest leaders I've ever seen in my life, or ever will see in my life. Uh, I was surrounded by those people, and I became one of those people, but Here's the mentality of most Marines. And let's just say, for example, you know, there is a wall in front of me. There's a wall in front of me. Well, I got three choices. I can figure out how to climb over that wall, okay? I can figure out how to get around that wall, go around that wall, or I can blast a hole through that wall and I can walk through that wall. So, you know, that's the way I've solved all problems, guys, in life ever since then. And that's the way the Marines uh, think, and that's the way you're trained to think, guys. That's the way you're trained to think. You're trained to solve problems, guys, no matter what it is. But since my career in the Marines ended, I've been self-employed since 1997, and I made money the old-fashioned way, guys, the old-fashioned way, um, the same way my dad made his money, the same way uh, my grandfather made his money. I had a, a traditional business. I had a, a storefront. I had a lease. I had, you know, high overhead, you know, I call it debt service. And I had a lot of bills to pay each and every single month just to break even, just to keep the doors open. But you know what? You only do what you know how to do in life to make money and to take care of your family. And that's what I did, guys. I did the best that I could, you know. But what I really had, I had a seven-day-a-week headache, guys. I had a, you know, it was basically I built a prison cell for myself that I could not escape from. And I had to figure out how to get out of this life, guys, because, you know, it was really wearing me down, guys. I mean, it was wearing me down, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. And, you know, overall, I was really suffering because of it. But, you know what? I didn't know what else to do, guys. You know, I didn't know what else to do. But here's what happened. In January 20, uh, 2010... I discovered something called, I called it a leveraged income model, okay? That's what I called it. In reality, it was a traditional network marketing company. A friend of mine named Danny Rayner, actually, Danny invited me to come see a meeting, okay? Come to a meeting, and he told me, hey, listen, come check out what we're doing. There's going to be a lot of local uh, business owners there, people that you know, and uh, check out a way. We're, we're uh, uh, going to be showing a way uh, to make money off to the side <clears throat> that won't interfere with what you're presently doing. So I went and checked something out, guys, and I was really amazed by what I saw. And I never had been exposed to network marketing before, ever. Didn't really know what it was, guys. I thought it was for lazy people that couldn't get a job. I mean, that's what I thought. And reality was, you know, these were the hardest working people I ever met in my life. And I met someone that day who was making $30,000 per month, per month, guys. And I remember pulling that person aside, and I said, hey, listen, you make $30,000 per month, and you don't have a storefront to lease you don't have employees to pay. You don't have to you know, pay all the debt service in a traditional business. And this gentleman was actually a traditional business owner himself at one point in the past. As a matter of fact, he owned two other businesses in the past. And he said, Frankie, no, I don't have any of that stuff anymore. And I'm like, man, I was amazed. I was hooked. I was hooked immediately. And I had to figure out how to do this for myself. I'm like, man, if I could figure out and make this kind of money, 
and not have to go through all the stress that I go through and report 16 hours a day to my traditional business seven days a week, man, I've got to figure this out. This is a better, this is a better plan than what I'm doing. So that's when my journey began. And I worked very, very hard and I got involved in this business and I struggled guys. I mean, I struggled bad. I mean, I built a team of about 38 people over the course of the next 10 months. And most of those people I personally sponsored. And, you know, I, I just failed miserably. I mean, I failed miserably. And that's when I went online. I went online because I figured out, you know what? I need to take my business to the internet so I can reach a larger audience. I didn't exactly know how to do it, but that's when my online marketing career really began in November of 2010, 2010 in November. And I knew nothing about internet marketing at the time, guys. I could barely send an email at the time. And I didn't even know that you could buy a domain name from GoDaddy. I knew absolutely nothing when my career began. But, you know, for the next few years, actually the next four years, all of 2010, all of 2011, 12 and 13, I worked, guys. And I mean, I worked thousands and thousands of hours, guys. I studied, I learned, I built websites, I learned SEO, I learned how to build a, a blog, I learned how to do uh, video marketing and video SEO and, and build landing pages and sales pages and all of these things, guys. I mean, I learned so many skills and I worked and I studied relentlessly. Not only was I working full time at my traditional business 16 hours a day, I would come home, sleep three, four hours, five hours, get back up, study all day, and then go back to my work, you know, my traditional business and run my traditional business. But all the while I was learning internet marketing guys and I was relentless. I mean, I literally was relentless. I did not stop. Well, on May 1st, 2012, I went full time with my marketing career, my internet marketing career, I closed my traditional business. The lease ran out in my building and I figured out, you know what? Now's the time to make the leap. I need to make the leap. And at the time I was making about a thousand dollars per week and up. I think at the most I was making maybe twelve hundred, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars per week in affiliate commissions, which was fine, guys. That would cover my bills. My bills were about a thousand dollars per week. So I was okay, guys. So I began to uh take my business full time full-time to the internet, May 1st, 2012. Now, here's the way I look at it, guys. Here's the way I look at, look at it. 2010, 11, 12, and 13 were pretty much all practice. I tell people, you know, a professional athlete, before they uh, step out onto the field and they're paid millions of dollars to perform uh, at the professional level, okay, they've already played the game. They have already played the sport that they're their, um, you know, their, whatever they're in for probably 10 or 15 years for free. Okay. They mastered their craft before they were paid millions of dollars and signed a contract. Well, that's the way I look at my internet marketing career. You know, I was paid very little money in 2010, 11, 12, and 13. My successes were brief and very limited. I couldn't find a business that really lasted a long time. I couldn't find a product that would sell consistently. You know, it would sell for good for a little while, maybe a couple months, and that was it. You know, I was constantly searching and searching for something that would last. And I really struggled guys bad. I couldn't find anything that would last long term. And, you know, I never made more than twenty three thousand dollars in a year ever uh during these years, two thousand ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen guys off affiliate commissions. I never made more than that. Most years I made way less than that, but I never made more than that, guys. I struggled incredibly uh just struggled, guys. I mean just constantly trying to break through. So the way I look at it, it was all pretty much practice, guys. In the summer of two thousand twelve, two things happened, guys. Two things happened that were life changing for me. Number one, um <clears throat> my primary affiliate commission, my number one money earner, I lost it instantly overnight. Instantly. I was making, I can't remember, I want to say 1500 bucks a week, something like that. It was good money, guys, because it covered all my living expenses, plus it covered all my bills. And, you know, I lost that instantly. At the same time, same exact time, uh, I got a phone call from my ex-wife, and she calls me up and says that she filled out some paperwork for our daughter, Sarah, that was going to college. Uh, and she was trying to register for the next semester, and she was denied, okay? And my, my, my ex-wife asked me, uh, Frankie, can you fill out this paperwork so that Sarah can go to school the following semester? I'm like, absolutely, of course I'll fill it out. So I filled out this paperwork, and I was denied too. So to make a long story short, the school calls me up, and they said, listen, Frank, 
you need to figure out some type of payment plan. You need to figure out how to pay us in advance in cash or Sarah's not going to be able to register for classes and she's going to have to withdraw. And I told the school and I also told Sarah, I said, listen, that's not an option. OK, she's you've already, she's my daughter had already finished one year of school and she was a straight A student. You know, dropping out of school was not an option. I said, listen, I'll figure out a way to pay for this, even if I have to live in a cardboard box. And it almost came down to that, guys. But at the time, I wasn't panicking, okay? I had plenty of money in the bank. I had some savings. I figured, okay, I'm going to rebuild my, my, my affiliate commissions back up, and I'll be okay. You know, I'll recover. I'll figure out how to recover. Well, fast forward the next 18 months, the next 18 months, all the way to December 2013. Guys, I had 18 months straight of one failed business after another after another, after another. I mean, every single thing that I joined, every single thing that I promoted, I don't care what it was. It could have been a company that was in year, uh, in business for 10 years. It could have been something that was brand new and pre-launch. Didn't matter what it was. It only lasted a few weeks, maybe a few months if, if I was lucky. And this went on for 18 months in a row, guys. And all the while, was I not making money all this time? Also, I'm still paying for this college education, guys. I'm struggling. And I literally, literally ran out of money in December 2013. I mean, literally ran out of money. As a matter of fact, this is how bad it was. I had less than $500 to my name, okay, to my name. Uh, I was making less than $1,000 per month in affiliate commissions, okay, less than $1,000 per month in affiliate commissions at the time. And I had $5,000 in bills sitting on my kitchen table that I could not pay. Couldn't pay, guys. So what did I do next? Now, at the same time, all this was going on. I had no money. Okay, I had less than 500 bucks, guys. I mean, things were bad for me. It, it couldn't have been worse. Not, not only uh, 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 did I have no money, but at the same time, something very exciting happened. And what that was is I finally figured out all of these skills that I learned how to do, all of this stuff, all of this internet marketing stuff, this the stuff that I learned for the past four years, nonstop studying. Well, I figured out how to duplicate myself. I finally figured out how to duplicate what I was doing, and I figured out how to deploy my skills. Okay, I figured out what to do with all these things. I never could figure out what to, how to make money off my skills. I just couldn't figure out how to make money. Okay, I know how to do all of these amazing things. How do I get paid for all these amazing things? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get paid for it. Well, I figured that out, guys. So what I did next was, guys, I sold every single thing that I owned. And I do mean every single thing that I owned. Every material possession, possessions, all of my furniture, I sold all, all my tools. I sold things that I collected over the course of a lifetime. I sold, And then that wasn't even enough, guys. I had to sell my only vehicle. My only vehicle. I had to sell my vehicle, too. So I was going to have no vehicle, guys, and I freely gave up all of my things, guys. I didn't gripe about it. I didn't whine about it. I didn't complain about it. I just... I freely let all my material possessions go. When I got done, I had a bed, I had a desk, and I had a kitchen table left in my house. I had absolutely nothing left. And what I did was I caught up on those bills. Okay, I caught up on those bills. And then I had enough cash left over where I was going to run out of money again, according to my calculations, in about 100 to 120 days. So I took a, uh, I took a leap of faith. But you know what, guys? I didn't risk anything. I didn't risk anything. I knew what I was doing, guys. I was 110% convinced that I knew what I was doing, guys. I had tremendous clarity. I had, I had focus. And for the first time, you know, in a very long time, I really believed in myself, guys. I mean, I totally believed in myself. My mind, my heart, and my spirit were all lined up, and I knew exactly what to do. Yeah, there's the truck I sold, guys. There's my Ford F-150 King Ranch. That was the most favorite vehicle I ever owned in my life, guys. And I took meticulous care of it. You know, I cleaned that truck by hand, inside and out, every single week, guys. That was my baby, guys. I, I, I just, you know, that was my most favorite vehicle ever. And, you know, I, I'm still surprised how, how easily I let it go. I mean, because it was my only vehicle. Now, most people would have jumped in that vehicle because it was paid for in cash, guys. It was paid for. I didn't owe a dime on it. Most people would have jumped in that truck and they would have went out and begged for a job. You know, I, if I'm lucky, I would have got a job for 10 or $12 per hour. And that would have made my situation even worse, guys. It would have made it worse because there's no way I would have been able to pay my bills then. I would, been, I would have been in a real, real big mess if I did that. But I freely let my vehicle go. That was the little house I was living in at the time, guys, right there, 910 square feet. I know that's not a small place in like European countries, but in the United States, that's a really, really small place, guys. 
So how I discovered maps, this is important, guys. This is what really changed everything for me. And how I discovered maps, I got a phone call one day. A friend of mine called me up and said, Frankie, listen, I want you to check out a traffic source, okay, a traffic source. And, I, you know, that was a magic word to me. I heard the word traffic. I'm like, absolutely, absolutely, let me see what you got. So he sends me this link, and I pulled it up, and it was My Advertising Pays. And I had seen My Advertising Pays before. I seen it about three months before, and I was like, wait a minute, I've seen this before. And I knew some people that were promoting this offer, and I didn't understand why they were promoting this thing. I, I, you know, you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I did, and I quickly dismissed this thing. And I said, listen, I don't even want to look at this thing. But my friend was very persistent. He said, listen, check it out and see if it's a viable traffic source. So, you know, my attitude was very negative towards it, very negative. And I was going to shred it to pieces in about three days, and I was going to throw it away. I mean, that's that was my attitude, guys. I was going to dismiss this thing called My Advertising Pays. Okay, so what happened, guys? Three days turned into three weeks. I reached out to the number one earner in the company, Simon Stepsis. At the time, the company was brand new, only three months old. And Simon connected me to the owner of the company, Michael Dees, okay, and I began to interview Michael over the course of the next three weeks, asking Michael every question you could possibly even think of, guys. And I had pages and pages and pages of notes. And me and Michael talked about you know, a lot of topics. We talked about compliance. We talked about corporate stru structure. Uh, we talked about you know, uh, uh, the servers, security of the database. We talked about backup systems. We talked about Michael's vision for this company. Uh, we talked about internal and external traffic uh, for the website. We talked about, you know, a, a wide variety of issues. And I came to find out, you know, quickly discovered that, you know, Michael being a military man like me, he was always thinking 10 steps ahead. And he spent over a year, over a year, guys, he was very patient with this when he built his company, but he spent over a year putting this thing together during the planning and development stages, and this thing was designed to succeed. It wasn't designed to fail. It was designed to succeed, and I got very, very excited, guys. I got very excited because I realized what this was. I realized what I had my hands on. What I had my hands on at the time was a buyer's list, a buyer's list, and the database was barely 20,000 strong. So what I thought to myself, you know, the light bulb kind of went off. And Frankie was like, holy cow, man, I got a buyer's list. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to advertise my affiliate offers. And I'm going to take my maps traffic and turn it into cash. That was the strategy that I taught every single person, guys, that I teamed up with, okay? And that was the ta the strategy that I taught my team, and that's the strategy that I personally followed myself because I knew what this was immediately. And I began to execute my plan. Now, I was broke at the time, guys. I was penniless. I could only buy five credit packs when I got started, five. And that is not a lot of traffic. You can burn that traffic up very, very fast on maps. Three weeks later, I bought 20 more credit packs, so I bought 25 out of pocket. That's it, guys. That's all I could afford to buy. I wish I could buy more, but that's all I could buy. And I began to advertise my affiliate offers over there at Maps. Now, I had to conserve my traffic. I had to conserve my traffic. I didn't want to waste any of my traffic over there at Maps. So what I did was, when I first started, is I only ran my advertising on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sundays. And the other days, I paused my ads. And then what I did was, when I got more referral commissions, I would buy more traffic and then I would apply that traffic to my ads. So I had to be very, very patient with this, guys, okay? But that was my strategy. Now, you can see here's 21-day uh, results, three, week, three weeks into maps, I had 42 active credit packs, okay? So I had a little bit of traffic there, guys. I had 51 personal referrals, okay? And I began to generate leads from this thing called My Advertising Pays, guys, now, I knew my strategy was going to work, guys. I knew it was going to work. I just didn't, didn't know how well it was going to work. I had no clue. So let's fast forward for the first 100 days, okay? You can see here July 13, okay? Uh, I have 285 active credit packs, which was a nice chunk of change uh, as far as real estate, you know, virtual real estate. 
on maps, guys. I was able to uh, increase the amount of uh, text ads I had in the rotator over there. I was now at this point able to advertise 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and not pause my ads. I was generating a lot of leads, guys, and I was making a lot of sales over there during the first 100 days. As a matter of fact, it was life-changing for me, guys, life-changing, uh, this traffic source, because it was a buyer's list. And the strategy was, let me get as many of these of these uh, these buyers, their emails onto my list, okay, onto my email list, and of course my teammates too. My teammates had the same strategy, and let's convert these leads into sales with our affiliate offers. I went, I went, got into maps for traffic, guys. I got into maps to generate leads. That's the only reason I got into maps. I thought, well, maybe someday I might make some money off this thing called my advertising pays, but that wasn't the initial attend. Uh, you know, that wasn't the initial uh, uh, strategy. The strategy was. The traffic, the leads, converting the leads into dollars because I needed money now, guys. I couldn't wait, you know, a year to build to hit twelve hundred credit packs and max this thing out. I couldn't wait that long, guys. I had to keep my kid in school. I had to keep a roof over my head. And listen, things were bad for me, guys. I mean, during the winter months, I was afraid to turn on my heat. I would just put an extra sweatshirt on in my house. That's how tight things were for me, guys. I had to, you know, uh, uh, conserve food. I had to plan out my meals in advance. Because remember, I had no vehicle. I had to rent a vehicle once every two weeks. I rented a vehicle for one day. I went out and got all my supplies for two weeks. I made a list. Every single meal I was going to eat in advance for the next two weeks, most of what I ate was ramen noodles. I hate to say it, and I don't even like eating ramen noodles, guys. I hope I never have to eat that again, but... You know, eating soup twice per day was pretty standard for me, guys. You know, and, and, you know, I didn't even turn on a light switch if I didn't have to. I had to conserve everything, guys. I had to be very disciplined uh, during this, this, you know, this, this period when I was broke, guys. When I was broke from, uh, you know, December 2013, you know, for the next seven months, things were very, very tight for me, guys. But I started to use this thing called Maps, this amazing uh, platform to generate leads. And, you know, I started to... Uh, changed my life very fast, guys, very fast. It didn't seem like it at the time. You know, when you're going through a pain like that, it doesn't seem like things happen fast. But when you look back on it, you're like, wow, man, I overcame some huge obstacles, guys. I overcame some huge uh, milestones during this transition period, you know, from being completely broke to started generating some leads to start making some sales with my traffic. July 16, 2014, this was a life-changing day for me, guys. I went out and bought this truck right here. And this is a Nissan Frontier four-wheel drive. It's fully loaded, guys. This is not the truck that I wanted, but it was the truck that I could afford. And I'm very, very grateful that I even had a vehicle, guys. And this is a $28,000 vehicle. Uh, this thing is paid for. I have the title to this truck. No finance whatsoever. And this was huge, guys. This was a huge celebration. And, you know, I already believed in myself, and I believed in my plan, and I believed in my strategy, and I knew what I was doing. But when I went out and bought this thing, guys, something triggered in my mind and it made me believe even more because I could see, you know, my work and my efforts materialize into something physical. OK, uh, and, and, you know, I got my freedom back too. this was a huge thing in my head where, yes, and now I had my freedom. I can jump in my truck and I can go anywhere I want to go anytime I wanted to go somewhere. And yes, before I got my vehicle, I could walk, I could get a cab, that kind of thing. But it wasn't the same, guys. OK, it really wasn't the same. And, you know, most of my adult life. I had three vehicles in my driveway paid for, and when I didn't have a vehicle at all for seven months, guys, you know, it was tough, guys, but I never accepted it in my mind. I never accepted it. I just thought it's a temporary thing. I didn't dwell on it, and I didn't focus my energy on what I did not have. When I had nothing, when I had no material uh, possessions, I never focused my energy on my losses. I never, never, guys. I was always projecting my energy forward, and I was teaching people my strategy, what to do with maps. And, you know, this is how I recovered so fast, guys, because I didn't dwell on what was not happening in my life. I didn't dwell on my problems, guys. I didn't dwell on my pain. As a matter of fact, I did the exact opposite. And I tell people this, that, you know what? I never told anyone in the world that I was broke. Nobody. I didn't tell anybody. I told one person, my best friend, but I mean, I didn't tell my family. I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my dad. I didn't tell my brothers and sisters. I mean, I told nobody. And the reason for that was... I didn't want to accept in my mind, and I didn't want to push my own personal energy on my problems. I didn't want to focus my own personal energy on my problem, my financial problem. So why would I want to tell my family so that they would worry, and then they would send their energy 
to my problem. Do you see what I'm getting at, guys? If I didn't want to push my own personal energy onto my problem, then why would I want my family to worry about me and do the same thing? So that's why I didn't tell anybody because you know what? It was my problem to solve. I knew how to solve it, and I went out and I solved the problem, guys. Very important. Now, here was my strategy, guys, in July. This was important, right? This was this. this I just doubled down. I mean, I doubled down. I mean, in my mind. My strategy was, listen, I'm going to get to 1,200 credit packs. I'm going to continue to build my email list. I'm going to continue to turn my maps traffic into cash, okay, which is what I was doing. And I was going to drown my email list in proof, progress, and results. I contacted my list every single day, and I proved to them. I showed them the progress, and I showed them the results every single day. And that's where I get all my signups, guys. That's how I get all my signups from email marketing, all of them, guys. Every, I don't even know how to sign anybody up, guys. I don't know how to prospect. I don't know how to recruit. I don't know how to do none of that stuff, guys. I don't even have a clue how to do that stuff. A lot of you have these gifts where you can do that kind of stuff, and you should continue to do that stuff, but I don't know how to do that, guys. The only thing I know, I know how to do is send out an email. I know how to collect a lead. I know how to follow up with that lead. I know how to help that person get started. I know how to train that person, okay? And then I know how to uh, drown my list with proof, progress, and results because really, guys, you know, I'm a, I'm an internet marketer. I'm really not a network marketer. I don't even know how to do network marketing, guys, but I just focused on my strength, and this was my strategy, and this is exactly what I did. Okay, there's my grandson, Blake, right there holding a stack of cash. This is when I was still at my old place, so this had to be in the late fall of 2014, okay? And, you know, things were starting to turn around for me, guys. I mean, I started... I started, I had money, guys. I had money again. I mean, this was a beautiful thing. I mean, when you go from making less than $1,000 per month and, you know, uh, you start generating significant income, life-changing income, guys, and I did make some life-changing income in 2014. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, of course, my results are not typical, but I made over $98,000 in affiliate commissions. Okay, listen to this. I made over $98,000 in affiliate commissions from MAPS Traffic. Not from maps, from maps traffic, guys. Now, that's powerful. You know, and I did that in nine months. So basically, I made about, if you average it out, I made about $10,000 per month on average. And, you know, for a guy that was making less than 1000 to start making $10,000 a month on average, it's huge, guys. It's life-changing for anybody, absolutely anybody. Okay, now, let's fast forward here. I want you to see this. Uh, this is day 150. This is September 1st, 2014. Okay. I had 480 active credit packs on the books. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm consistently building up my credit packs. I'm getting more and more traffic, generating more and more leads, 512 personal referrals. Let's fast forward one more month. You can see October 1st. I now have 603 active credit packs. This was huge, guys. Huge because I'm over the hill. I'm over the halfway point, okay? I need 1,200 to max out the credit packs. That's the most advertising space I can have on the platform, and I already hit over the halfway point. Exciting, guys. And you can see personal referrals, almost 600, 599. Pretty exciting, guys. So I was, I'm, I'm working really hard at this point. I'm really, I'm just, I'm going nonstop, guys. And listen, during this period of time, I had, you know, uh, when I was, of course, all of, um, um, 2014 all of 2014 actually from 2012 actually from 2012 to the end of 2014 i was working uh normal it was normal for me to work 18 hours straight uh 24 hours straight 36 hours straight sometimes i was awake three even four days straight with no sleep and i didn't care guys i was i, I was working non-stop i was making videos non-stop i was training people non-stop i was gener generating leads following up with leads i was like a machine that did not stop i was going to push so much value out into the universe, which is what I did, that I allowed uh, myself to tap into the universe, and I opened up a channel for myself to be compensated, guys. You, you're going to hear me talk about energy a lot, especially if you uh, hang around me any length of time. It's all energy. Everything we do, is it's all about energy, guys, but that's what I did, guys. I, I put so much value, so much love, so much. I put everything I had into everything I did, and I gave it every, I mean, I gave it 110%. And it came back to me, guys. It came back to me in a form of compensation. Okay, November 1st, uh, this is getting exciting. I got 735 active credit packs, guys. You can see we're building very nicely. Let's fast forward another month. 
Okay, day 241, 241 days into maps. I now have 1,047 active credit packs, guys. This is insane because I'm almost maxed out. This is the most uh, virtual real estate that I can have over on maps as far as advertising space in the rotator. And I can only have 1,200 active credit packs. So I need another 153 and I max this thing out, right? Now check out the date. It's December 1st, right? December 1st, December 1st, 2014. Fast forward 11 days, guys. I gained 153 credit packs. I hit 1,200, guys, on December 11, 2014, and I did it in eight months. In eight months, guys, I completely changed my life, and I went from zero credit packs to 1,200. And this, this was a guy that was broke, guys. Listen, I was a broke man. Broke. No money. But I was not a broken man. That's key, guys. That's key. There's a lot of people out there that are broke, but you know what? As long as you're not broken, your mind, your heart, and your spirit, as long as that's not broken, you can recover from anything. And I mean anything, guys. You can recover from anything if you're not a broken person. This was exciting. Max this thing out, guys. It became a diamond in maps. This was a life-changing day right here. Two days later, my daughter Sarah graduated from college, guys. The same day, December 13, 2014, the same day that my advertising page turned one year old. And I'll tell you what, guys, a lot of sacrifice went into this education for Sarah and myself. We both struggled, guys. We both worked very, very, very hard, guys. And it was, you know, it, it was heartbreaking. I mean, when I was broke and I was penniless and I couldn't help her. I mean, you know, I mean, I remember at one point she ran out of food, food and she was afraid to tell me. And, you know, she came home for the weekend one time and she lived 100 miles. She went to school 100 miles away and she lived 100 miles away from where I lived. And when I had no vehicle, I couldn't even go check on her. I mean, it was it was heartbreaking, guys, heartbreaking. And, you know, when your children suffer, I mean, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's a pain that doesn't go away. But one time she came home on the weekend and uh, she was afraid to tell me she had no food. And I remember I was still broke at the time. I had, I had like maybe 200 bucks in my wallet and it was actually my grocery money. I gave her everything I had in my wallet. Then I went into my house and I boxed up the little bit of food that I had. I boxed up everything. I emptied the cupboards, bagged it all up and put it in her car and sent her home with my food. I mean, that's how that's sacrifice, guys. That's that's pain. That's a pain that doesn't go away. And I wanted to eliminate eliminate that pain forever, guys. We both I mean, we both we suffered, guys. We suffered. But you know what? We made it. We made it, guys. We both made it, man. This was a huge celebration, guys, a huge celebration. And there's my uh, daughter's college degree, guys. I actually paid off that thing. Uh, uh, there's no debt associated with that degree. We don't owe the school a single penny. Uh, I actually just paid that off a few months back, and that's that was hu a huge weight to get off my back, guys. A huge weight because that thing, that college degree, took me down to my knees, guys. It took me down to my knees financially. And that, along with all of my failed businesses, you know, it's hard to pay for a college education when you didn't plan for it. I mean, I just didn't plan for it. And listen, I could have took the easy way out. I could have said, you know what, Sarah, drop out of school. I can't figure out how to pay for it, but I didn't. I, I stepped up to the plate. I got her there, guys. I did it. She did the work, though. You know, I couldn't do the school work for her. She did the work, and she also worked full time, too, guys, okay? So, you know, just tremendous sacrifice. We did it. We made it. Anything's possible, guys. Anything is possible. Yeah, this is pretty normal in my life now, guys. We got more cash than we know what to do with, man. It just floods in nonstop. And I'll tell you something right now. You know, once you lift that 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 weight off your back, that financial, because my whole life, guys, my whole adult life, ever since, especially ever since I stepped out of the Marines, every single day of my life, I worried about money. I always worried about money. I was always in debt. I was, my traditional business stressed me out to the max. I mean, I had to come up with, you know, 33 grand a month in bills to pay minimum. That's if nothing broke. I mean, stuff, stuff, are break, stuff breaks all the time, you know, repair bills. And, you know, it was just so stressful, guys. And when you take that, you know, you, you don't have any debts in the world. You know, you don't owe nobody a penny. And you don't have, you know, all these reoccurring expenses in a traditional business. You eliminate all of that. This huge weight just comes off of your back, guys. And it is a wonderful, wonderful feeling, guys, being debt free and also being free from, you know, a, a, a heavy debt service 
associated to a traditional business. I could never go back to a, to a traditional business, guys. I couldn't do it. I mean, could I do it and be successful at it? Of course I could because of all the experience that I have and all the knowledge that I have and all the, you know, the, the tens of thousands of hours. You know, I worked about 5,000 hours a year at my store, guys, a year times that times 13 years. How many hours is that? I spent some time at my business, guys. That's insane. And, you know, uh, so I have all that experience, but I wouldn't want, ever want to go back to that life. Here's where I live now, guys, a beautiful house, 2,600 square feet. It's really just a regular house. It's no big deal. But you know what? It is a big deal to my family. It's a big deal to my, my daughters, Vanessa and Sarah, who live with me, and my, my grandson, Blake. You know, not only did I change my life, I changed my family's life, guys. And, you know, I told my kids, you know, come and stay with me for a year. You know, come stay with me for a year. You know, get your feet on solid ground, finish your education, get your careers going, you know, and then, you know, that save up some money. So, you know, then you can go out. And, you know, not struggle, you know, it just, it's so painful to see your children scr struggle. And, you know, the way the, the kids struggle now, because it's, di we're living in different times, guys, we're living in different times. And, and, you know, I've had to change with the times, guys, I'm a traditional business owner. And I had to learn this internet marketing thing that I knew nothing about, guys, I had to adapt, I had to overcome. But you know what? entrepreneurs like us we're the people that are changing the world guys we are cha we're always changing the world we'll we an entrepreneur will always find a solution you'll always find a way okay because that old old school traditional business thing that doesn't work no more guys it doesn't work no more it used to work years ago like for my grandfather you know that it, back in those days you could make a lot of money in a traditional business but now it's tough guys it's really really tough yeah, just a couple pictures of my home, guys. You know, my, my, my house is really sparse. There's not a lot of things in my house. I, I you know, mostly just, you know, place workstations and places to work because I work nonstop. And you know what? I'm happy, you know, and, and, and I don't care that I work, still work 18 hour days. I work 20 hour days. I don't care. I'm happy, guys. As long as you're happy, it doesn't matter what you do with your life, okay? Do I have time to enjoy myself? Well, yes, of course I do. But you know what? What I really enjoy, what my passion really is, is is to help the next person. Is you know that's 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 my real passion. I'm a I'm a addicted student to to internet marketing, guys, and I'm always improvising and and developing new things, and I'm coming up with new strategies and techniques, and just I'm always working behind the scenes, guys, all the time. I got some really really exciting new stuff coming out really soon. It's gonna you're gonna fall out of your seat, guys. Uh, what you see coming. I got some really, really exciting stuff. And that's, that's really my passion now is educating people and teaching. And that's really, that's what I'm good at. And that's what I want to focus on. Yeah. My living room right there. Of course, I've never, I've only sat in that couch a handful of times. I don't, I don't watch television guys at all. Uh, um, actually I haven't watched television since 2001. I can't even name a television program, like a TV show. I don't watch, I call it mindless, uh, mindless TV or junk food for the mind. I don't watch TV at all. It's just a complete waste. I watch, you know, five, six, seven, maybe 10 movies a year. I think that's really pushing it. And, uh, you know, I just don't have time for it. You know, it's, it's just not for me. It's, it's just not what I do, guys. And also, there's so much negative information on television. And I do know, yes, there is educational uh, uh, shows and that kind of stuff. Yes, of course there is. Educational channels, I understand that. But it's so negative, and I won't let the news media influence my free-thinking mind. I won't. I won't. I don't read a newspaper either. I haven't read a newspaper since 2001. I haven't watched television since 2001, and I refuse to do it, guys. I, I, I just won't do it, guys. I won't plug in, and I won't be influenced by mainstream uh, television programs or mainstream news. I won't be influenced by that stuff whatsoever. It's too negative, and I think it's it's just damaging for your mind. Yeah, there's that's the most comfortable couch I've ever sat in. But like I said, I haven't sat in it too many times. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is my kitchen, you know, I just, you know, a lot of, we make a lot of good meals in there, you know, uh, that kind of deal, plenty of space, plenty of cabinets, it's just, it's just wonderful, guys, just everything about my life has changed, this is my backyard, it's beautiful, got, you know, a playground for my grandson, screened in porch, I mean, it's just, here's my office, guys. My office is upstairs on the second level, there's 10 foot ceilings downstairs, so the second floor of my house is extremely high. Uh, there's my whiteboard and stuff. Actually, going to be making a brand new website real soon, guys. You guys going to see a brand new website coming for me. I'm going to actually going to abandon the GoogleMillionaire.com site, and I uh, got a new site coming out. 
and uh, it's going to be a name that I'm going to use for the rest of my life, and um, I'm going to just redirect the traffic that's going there. And you know, people are going to the training's going to be better, the videos are going to be better, everything's going to be better, guys. It's going to be a better deal. I just going to I'm just going to get away from that name, guys. There's nothing wrong with that name. It's just uh, I got something uh, that's more brandable that I want to brand to myself and something I want to be known for. And you'll see, you, you'll see it soon, guys. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to talk about, and then we'll wrap it up real quick, guys. I want to talk about uh, energy, focus, and clarity. And this is extremely important, guys. And this is really how I, I broke through, and I touched on this a little bit earlier. And, uh, you know, the reason that I was able to turn things around fast, and really, it, it really didn't happen fast, guys. It really, it really was from 2010. I failed 11, 12, and 13. I really failed for four, basically over four years. And, you know, so it really didn't it happen fast for me. And the reason it didn't happen fast for me was my energy was all screwed up. I always focused on what was going wrong. I was always focused on my pain. And it was not until I freely let everything go, when I mean that is I let all my material possessions go, that my energy was right, that my focus was right, and I got tremendous clarity. I had about 85% of my plan figured out in my head, and I actually drew it out on my whiteboard, and I drew it all out in my notes, handwritten notes, and that kind of thing. But I had all of this... Uh, um, figured out before I got started on my journey, guys, okay? You got to get your mind right. I mean, seriously, you have got to get your mind right. You got to get ri rid of all the negative garbage in your life. The Even the negative people, you got to get rid of them, guys. You got to block them. You got to get them away from you. You got to stop hanging around those people. I'm telling you, there was a lot of people in my life, you know, that I really cared about too. People that I really, really cared about that I had to, I had to let them go, guys. I, they were holding me back, guys. They were literally, they had the handcuffs on me, okay? And I did it to myself. But, you know, you got to get your energy, your focus, and your clarity right. You've got to get things right. And if you go through my training, you'll understand a lot of this stuff. You'll, you'll, you'll start seeing this stuff. You'll start seeing how I teach people to, the uh, first thing you do each day is you push something positive out into the universe. That's very big, guys. That's a very big step, just doing that on a consistent basis. Now, a lot of people ask me, where's the best place to advertise maps? I hear this all the time, and I tell people, and I touched on this earlier once again, 100% of my signups come from my email list. I build an email list, guys, a contact list, a database, whatever you want to call it. It all means the same thing, okay? And running my online business is identical to running my traditional business. There's no difference whatsoever, zero. In my traditional business, I had customers, okay? Any traditional business, any business out there, I don't care what it is, you have customers, okay? Those customers make purchases, okay? Now, here's how you make money online. It's so simple. You build an email list. You build an email list and you put offers in front of that email list that they already like or they've been proven to already like, okay? In my traditional business, I was always promoting my traditional business. I was always getting more and more customers. Some of my customers came in daily. Some came in weekly. Some came in monthly. Some I only seen a couple times a year, but I was always building that customer base, okay? Now, with uh, uh, my online business, when I started figuring out that, hey, I need to build an email list because the email list is my customer base, well, guess what? Some of those people are going to buy more frequently than others. You know, someone might be on your list for a year, and then, you know, after a year, they figure out, hey, man, Frankie's made a couple hundred thousand dollars. Maybe I should get involved in what he's doing. He's showing it to me every single day, guys. Well, that's your customer base, guys. Without that list, you're not going to make money online. I guarantee it, guys. I learned that the hard way, and that's why I preach it, and I teach it. I teach the distribution model. The distribution model, guys. You know, Walmart doesn't have one store. They have thousands of stores, guys. And as you go through my training, you'll understand this distribution model, and it'll become crystal clear in your mind. You're going to know exactly what to do. Now, I want to talk about why Maps is the perfect business. This is very important. People don't understand this. The first reason, there's a couple reasons, but the first reason why Maps is the perfect business is because Maps teaches you, okay, they teach you to buy traffic on a consistent basis. They teach you to buy traffic nonstop. That's critical, guys. You have got to spend money advertising your business online, generating leads. Leads. You have to do it, okay? I don't understand why people don't understand that. Traditional business owners understand that. 
Business-minded people understand it. Entrepreneurs understand it. Everybody understands it, but for some reason, there's a segment out there that doesn't understand that. They don't understand that they have to buy traffic. Well, in my traditional business, I spent $1,000 a week advertising, advertising, traditional advertising, to get customers in my store, okay? to be, to turn Because once I got them in my store, I knew I'd, I knew I would make them a regular. And once you make a regular customer, well, guess what? Those are people that spend the most money. Well, the same thing online. Maps teaches you to buy traffic all the time by buying tra- credit packs, okay? The second thing that uh, Maps teaches, they teach you to build a contact list, which I just talked about, an email list. They teach you to do that. The next thing that they teach you is ad copy skills, sales copy skills. You're, you know, uh, you, you guys are uh, uh, doing advertising over there on the rotator, and you can experiment, you can fine-tune, you've got valuable data over there that shows you click-through rates. Just removing or replacing or changing one word can be the difference between a winning and a losing campaign over there, okay? So you're learning very valuable ad copy skills, okay? Extremely, extremely important. Also, for people that um, design their own marketing funnels, their own landing pages, sales pages, email marketing follow-up systems, that kind of deal. You can test that stuff over there on the traffic exchange, guys. What a perfect place to test. You get paid to test, okay? And even if you have a losing campaign, you still make money. But what if you have a winning campaign? Well, what could you do with that information? Well, guess what? You can take that same campaign, go over to Facebook, pay-per-click, or you can go over to Bing or Yahoo and do pay-per-click over there and use the same campaign. You've already got the valuable data, guys. You've already tested it over there. So my advertising pays is the perfect business because it teaches you all the fundamentals, guys, all the fundamentals of internet marketing. Pretty exciting, guys, because no other business out there teaches that. They don't teach that. Well, that's what you're learning in my advertising pays. Now, I tell people, listen, there's three different ways to make money in maps, three different ways, but the money is really in the database. It's in the database, and people hear me hear, say that all the time. They're like, what are you talking about? It's in the database. A lot of people, they focus on the profit share. I'm like, what are you, crazy? That's not where the money is. The money's in the database. The money is in getting all those emails onto your contact list. That's where the money is, guys. Okay, and I tell people there's three different ways to make money off maps, okay? Number one, number one, the profit share. Okay, the profit share is powerful. It is, absolutely it's powerful, guys. We'll talk about that in just a second. The second way is direct, direct referral commissions. Okay, we get a 10% direct referral commission instantly and in cash. We get paid. And the third way is by turn our traffic into cash, okay? So those are the three different ways that we can make money in maps. Now, let's go back to this profit share because it is powerful, guys. But too many people focus on the profit share. I don't even think about it because it's just extra gravy to me. I want the leads. Now, the profit share, this is genius, guys. It's genius. Here's why it's genius. You take a brand new marketer and you team that marketer up with, you know, a rock star marketer, something like a Simon Stepsis, the number one man in the company. Now, Simon... At the time this video is being made, this, he sold about $15 million worth of advertising space on the platform, okay? So he was paid a, one, a 10% referral commission, okay, for that. So $1.5 million he was paid in, in referral commissions, okay, for selling that advertising space. He sponsored people. Those people bought advertising space on the platform, and he was paid a 10% direct referral commission, okay? Now... Michael holds back 5%. The owner of the company holds back 5%, let's just say, to run the company, okay? To pay the bills, the debt service, to keep my advertising pays moving, right? The rest of that money, where did it go, okay? Let's just say Simon gets paid $1.5 million, okay, in his, his, his uh, commissions. Let's just say Michael holds back a million. Let's just use an even number for this example, okay? Out of the $15 million, okay? So now what is there? There's still, what, $12.5 million sitting on the table, Right? 12 and a half, 13, 14, yeah, 12 and a half million dollars sitting on the table. Where'd that 12 and a half million dollars go? Well, it gets pushed back into the pay plan, guys. How exciting is that, guys? How exciting is that? You got the number one guy in the company working for everybody, all right, and pushing money back into the pay plan. Now, multiply that times everybody in the company selling advertising space on a platform, okay? That's powerful, guys. That's extremely powerful, and if you understand that, if you understand it the way I explained it, you're going to get very excited because you're going to see that, you know what, this is true, true teamwork, guys. Whether I sponsored you or not, it doesn't make no difference, guys. It doesn't make no difference, guys. We're still on the same team. We're still generating that profit share together. Very exciting. 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up, man. That's my video presentation for my advertising page. That's my, my journey, I should say, to Diamond, to 1,200 credit packs. I did it, guys. If I can do it, you can do it. I was a broke man. Broke man, guys. I had no money whatsoever. When I got started, I sold every single material possession in the world that I had to make it happen to, for me and my family. And I tell you what, guys, it has been life-changing, guys. It has been life-changing in more ways than I'll ever even be able to explain. This is one of my favorite quotes, guys. John F. Kennedy, those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. Take care. God bless everybody. Thank you.